Why do I have to confess my sins to a priest? If I pray to God, won't he forgive me? If it's been a long time since your last confession, or maybe even just been a while since you've thought about this sacrament, you might be asking yourself this very question. Why? Why is it necessary for me to go into a confessional and confess my sins to a priest in order to be forgiven? Can I just pray to God for forgiveness? Well, yes, you can and should pray to God for forgiveness anytime you're aware of a sin you've committed. But that's only part of the answer because asking God for forgiveness is only part of the remedy for our sins. In order to fully understand why Catholics celebrate the sacrament of penance the way we do, let's look at one of our core beliefs about who we are as a people of faith. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. God has put the body together so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. We are one body, each of us a different yet important part of the whole. The children of God are somehow inextricably connected, even though we don't know each other or even like each other. This theology of St. Paul is what Christians refer to as the mystical body of Christ. Each of us may think it's just all about me, or even all about me and God, but that's not how the church sees it. We are all in this together. In fact, St. Paul goes even further in describing the mystical body of Christ. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. If one part is honored, all the parts share its joy. And when one person sins, it hurts and affects the entire community of believers. Why? Because we are one body in Christ. Oftentimes, a modern approach to sin might be summed up, no harm, no foul. We are under the mistaken impression that if we do something wrong, but no one is aware of it or seemingly harmed by it, it's not really that bad of a sin. For instance, let's say I'm driving in my car when another driver cuts me off or is driving slower than I think they should be. So I let some words slip out that are unkind and mean-spirited. But hey, the other driver didn't hear me, so it's not that bad, right? Wrong. For Catholics, that's still a sin because I am called, along with all of my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, to be loving and charitable and patient. So when I make a choice that's contrary to how we as believers should live, my sin hurts us all. And I need to ask forgiveness not only from God, but from the other members of the body of Christ as well. Each and every sin we commit harms our relationship with God and harms our relationship to the other members of the community. So it's not enough to simply ask God for forgiveness. Sin creates a separation. The sacrament of penance, also known as the sacrament of reconciliation, is about mending that separation or reconciling us to both God and community. That's why we confess our sins to a priest. He is there as both an intermediary of God's grace and as a representative of the people of God. In fact, in the earliest centuries of the church, Christians would publicly confess their sins to the entire community of believers. Today's practice may be less embarrassing, but it still has the same effect. The priest welcomes us back into the communion of God's people. Although communion is a word we usually associate with a different sacrament, it makes sense here too. Sometimes our sins are so serious, we actually take ourselves out of communion with God and with one another. Excommunication is a scary word that most people think means being kicked out of the church. But in reality, when we commit grave, or what we call mortal, sins, we remove ourselves from communion with God and the church. That's why the church teaches that if you've committed any mortal sins, you need to go to confession before receiving the Eucharist, because you have to be in communion to receive communion. And that's what's so great about this sacrament of penance, or reconciliation, or confession. No matter how bad our sins are or how long it's been, through God's grace and forgiveness, we are brought back into communion to once again be a part of the body of Christ.